Scorpio, what is up? Happy birthday. We are starting Scorpio season. I think tonight, actually. I thought it was yesterday, but I just heard that it's tomorrow, so I figure it's probably somewhere tonight. But anyway, happy birthday to all you Scorpios. And if you are a fellow Venus and Scorpio like yours truly, then happy Venus return. Hopefully we get some good love blessings, right, Venus and Scorpio peeps? All right, so it's time for your November 2019 love reading. So welcome to Scarlet Phoenix Tarot. Welcome back if you are a returning subscriber. I really appreciate you so much. All your support, comments, I read every single one. Um, I really appreciate you. If you're new, thanks for stopping by, and I hope the reading resonates. If it does, you know, I hope that you'll also support the channel and check out your moon, Venus, and rising signs to try to get some more insight, all right? Also, if you're new, you'll notice that I use my pendulum to determine whether the cards should be upright or reverse. So even if you see a bunch of cards coming out in reverse, don't freak out because chances are a lot of them are going to turn upright. Okay, but uh, anyway, so let's go ahead and get started. I have been shuffling your energy in, of course, as always here for a while. So we are ready to go. Eight card spread. I call it the Lady V after Venus. Who rules love and relationships? Who I have a love-hate relationship with. Not really. I don't hate her at all. I love her. But she seems to hate me sometimes, damn it. Anyway. I know. Everything's for our highest good, right, Scorps? It is. It is. All right. So let's go ahead and get started. Spirit, what are the love energies or just the energies uh, surrounding Scorpio and a person of interest? in Scorpio's life. Okay, show me what's going on for November 2019. Scorpio sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Mostly love energies, but could be any relationship spirit. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. We all appreciate you, spirit. It's all about spirit, guys. Seriously, I couldn't do anything. I kind of think of tarot as like a language that it, it, it is. It's like a language that spirit uses to communicate with us. And uh, us readers just happen to know that language and give you your messages. We translate your messages for you. Okay. So, spirit. Scorpio, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Lady B, please. to rock and roll here okay so Scorpio how you feel about your person I'm just gonna tell you a little bit and then I'm gonna lay the cards out figure out what direction they're gonna be in and then I will explain them okay so the first card out is how you feel about your person and it's the ten of Pentacles okay that is earth energy Taurus Virgo Capricorn and energy of longevity long term I want to grow old with you if it stays in the upright all right, uh, how your person sees you, Scorpio, is the Nine of Cups. Hmm, interesting. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces energy. Okay, that is uh, an energy of wish fulfillment, if it stays in the upright. How they feel about you, the Wheel of Fortune, Sagittarian energy. It's currently in reverse. Okay, I won't say too much. Or Jup Jupiterian energy. Also could be a fixed sign, could be dealing with a fixed sign that's... Uh, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, or uh, Aquarius. How or something that happened in the past that's led up to the current energy between you and your person is the Queen of Pentacles, currently in reverse, more Earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. The current energy between you and your person is the Sun. Nice. Things coming to light recently, Scorpio. That's a Leo energy. Okay, so you could be dealing with someone with Leo in their chart, or you could have Leo in your chart. And the action your love interest is most likely to take towards you during the month of November 2019, the Nine of Pentacles. Interesting. That's more Earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I think they like what they see. But let me refrain from saying too much until I know the direction. All right. Your advice, Scorpio. 
The Hanged Man. Card of Pisces. Could have some Pisces in your chart, or they could. Okay, they could be uh, maybe one or both of you, or if you could be in the Pisces Deacon. Because even if you're a Scorpio, you know, all the signs, I don't know if uh, many of you are aware of this, but there's more than just your sign in your sign. <laughs> okay, so like, I'm a Capricorn, but I was born during the Virgo Deacon of Capricorn. So I have also a good amount of Virgo energy uh, or it's more like a Virgo flavor to my Capricorn, okay? So I kind of look at it that way, like a flavor. So you could have some Piscean flavor in your Scorpio, Scorpio, okay? Or you could just really have some legit Pisces, and uh, not that the other is not, but it's just, you know, like a flavor, like I said. Or they could, okay? Um, your outcome, drum roll for November 2019 is Judgment, Scorpio. Hello, Scorpio. Okay, uh, this is a good a good card for an outcome. Let's see if it stays in the upright before I say too much, all right? Making sure these bitches is straight, all right? Sorry, I have a little New Yorker that comes out every now and then, all right? <laughs> I drive my mother crazy with that, all right? All right, Scorpio, bottom of the deck, you got the Six of Pentacles currently in reverse. That's Earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Let's see what Spirit says. All right, Spirit, upright or reverse, please. The Six of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles. The Nine of Cups. The Wheel of Fortune. The Queen of Pentacles. The Sun. The Nine of Pentacles. The Hanged Man. And judgment. All right. Thank you so much, Spirit. Appreciate you. All right, so see that? These three cards came out, or even the overall energy came out, reversed, and Spirit says, no, 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 upright. All right? All right, so let's see, Scorpio, how your person feels about you. Well, let me start with your overall energy, sorry. It is one of reciprocity, okay? Balance, 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 okay? So... Uh, if there was not a reciprocal uh, exchange of energy before between you and your person, it looks like there is going to be moving forward into November. Okay, uh, balance, reciprocity. Also behind that is the Seven of uh, Pentacles, which is the card that comes right after the Six of Pentacles. So it's a progression. You are progressing uh, something that you've invested in with this person. You are waiting to see the return. And it looks like it's coming with that uh, Six of Pentacles. Maybe that's what you've been waiting for. Some balance, some reciprocity. Okay. And then uh, how you feel about your person. Yeah, uh, you want to spend the rest of your life with them, Scorpio. Legit. The Ten of Pentacles. You definitely want a long-term future with this person. Like, I want to grow old with you and watch our grandkids, you know, play in the front yard while we sit on the front porch. Not necessarily that. I don't know what you're going to be doing when you're old. Maybe you'll still be going to crazy Scorpio, you know, underground clubs. I don't know. But whatever it is, you want to do it with this person forever. Okay, that's what I'm seeing, Scorps. All right, so how they see you uh, could be as a wish come true. They may have been wishing for you. It looks like you've been wishing for them, but I think they've been wishing for you too. They could see you as having wished for them. They could see you as out having a grand old time. You could be living it up right now, Scorpio. It's coming up on your birthday season. You're probably going to have a lot of people in November wanting to take you out, you know, for dinner or a drink or something for your birthday. So they might see you as having a good old time, uh, maybe a little uh, overindulging, not necessarily, but just, you know, really getting your party on this month, maybe, okay? Uh, but, you know, it could definitely be a wish fulfillment. We'll have to see how that develops with the other two cards that go on top of it, all right? So how they feel about you is the Wheel of Fortune. So again, it kind of goes with that, how they see you as a wish fulfillment, because I feel like they're very, they feel lucky to either have found you or found you again 
if this is some because you have judgment in the re, I mean in the outcome, so I feel like this is going to be some sort of uh, resurrection of something from the past. Okay, so uh, yeah, they 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 feel very blessed, very blessed, lucky to uh, be having this opportunity with you to for fate to have brought you into their lives or back into their lives. Okay, take it out. Resonates in the past. Mm, there may have been a an earth sign that may have gotten in the way. We'll have to see how this develops. Um, you know, this is an earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Doesn't matter if it's male or female, but it is a person. It could be an energy that there was some kind of stability in the past and nurturing, he, maybe even healing. Um, the Queen of Cups is more healing, but the Queen of Pentacles is a nurturer, absolutely. So there could have been some of that going on, but I feel for some reason that there was a person that may have gotten in the way. We'll have to see how this goes, okay? But whatever it was, or however they got in the way, it looks like things are coming to light about it now. Things are being illuminated to you, uh, both of you, because this is in your mutual energy. This is also an energy of healing and hope and uh, happiness. I feel like, um, and this goes along with the October reading also, I felt like it was a very, very positive I'm trying to remember back it was a very positive reading for you guys i remember feeling warm fuzzies um for the reconciliation i think it was long-term reconciliation after a, a long separation for a lot of you uh but you know there's a lot of hope and healing going on right now between you guys and a lot of things coming to light truths coming out and uh we'll see where that goes with the rest of the cards the action they're most likely to take towards you in November, eh, I'm really going to need some more cards. I mean, this could right now just be them really admiring you and, uh, you know, just really taking a good look at you and how great you look. This is a Nine of Pentacles energy. It could be somebody wanting to stay single. I'm going to go ahead and say that, but we got to get more cards to find out because this card by itself, you know, it can mean a lot of different things just by itself. So... Uh, but this is an energy of self-sustainability, um, just really being beautifully independent, okay? And not needing anybody doesn't mean that you're, you know, aloof or anything like that and, like, pushing people away. It's just that, you know, whatever. You're you're doing you and, you know, so if the universe brings somebody into your energy field, then, uh, you know, if it works for you, you will uh, go with it, you know? But you're not going to be taking any kind of... Uh, you're not going to be accepting any people that are less than you deserve or trying to serve you less than you deserve because you know your worth. Okay. Or they do. Your advice, the hanged man. Okay. In the upright. So you may be needing a change of perspective, Scorpio. Um, just looking at things a little bit differently, trying to maybe put yourself in the other person's shoes in this situation and see how things might look from their side or feel from their side. Um, this could also be, you know, uh, an energy advising you that there's going to be maybe a little bit more of a delay and you need to be patient. We'll have to get some more cards and see. You could, uh, I, I feel like you're being advised to, uh, really look at everything very carefully and, uh, and from every different angle, make sure that you are seeing everything clearly Scorpio and that you've checked all the angles. Okay. Your outcome is judgment. So that is Scorpio. And it is a card for me. It's definitely res, uh, reconciliation for sure. So if you are on the outs with this person, I do see a reconciliation even with just uh, this first layer of cards. Uh, this could be awakening. We do have two cards of awakening here. So you're being advised to have change of perspective or to look at things from all the angles. Have an awakening maybe. It's not like you can force that. But uh, allow an awakening to trans. Uh, transpire maybe and then this could be awakening actually happening this is two cards of awakening there okay um but yeah i do you know in a relationship spread or any in any relationship if you're on the outs with a friend if this is a, a res resonating as a, on a friendly level or a business level or anything it looks like there's going to be some sort of reconciliation and resurrection of that okay so let's get some more cards and see where this takes us okay see where spirit takes us on this little Scorpio journey, okay? It's our yearly trip to the underworld when the sun goes into Scorpio. That rules the underworld, Pluto. It's very appropriate that Halloween falls in Scorpio season, don't you think? You know, it gives us all a chance to uh, examine our shadow sides. 
you know, dig into the deep depths of our uh, psyches and try to uh, evolve. We also have a Mercury retrograde going uh, on Halloween, starting on Halloween this year, actually. So part of Scorpio season will be, a good part of it, actually, will be Mercury retrograde. So, uh, you know, just be on the lookout for that. Famous for bringing back old lovers. Okay, and we see one is coming back here. So it's coming. All right, so Spirit, please clarify these cards in the order that they are laid out, please. For Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Knight of Wands in reverse came out. The Knight of Wands in reverse. So I feel it should be in reverse. And I feel it's something that somebody who's been in and out like of your life. Okay, or just an energy of this relationship maybe being on and on or starting and stopping, starting and stopping or just an inconsistent energy to this connection that I feel is coming to an end. That's good. All right. So um, clarifying that Ten of Pentacles is how you feel about your person. Scorpio is the Empress currently in reverse. Taurus, Libra energy. Okay. Um, Venus energy for me. Well, it just is Venus energy. Clarifying uh, the Nine of Cups as how your person sees you is the Five of Wands. Currently upright, it is Fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. How they feel about you on top of that Wheel of Fortune. Oh, the Queen of Pentacles. Wow, that's very interesting. Okay, I'll just see what keeps, what keeps coming out. All right, so in the past, on top of that... Queen of Pentacles is the Five of Pentacles. Currently in reverse, Earth Energy, uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay, and then the current energy between you and your person, the Hermit. Interesting, the Sun and the Hermit. So, you know, the Sun is about healing, um, definitely about healing and things coming to light. And when things come to light, we tend to want to think about them. So I'm not really surprised to have the Hermit here. It's Virgo Energy, by the way. All right. Um, the action your love interest is most likely to take towards you on top of that nine of pentacles is the six of pentacles, which was in your current uh, overall energy there. Okay. It is in reverse right now. More earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. The advice that spirit has for you on top of the hanged man is the four of pentacles. Hang on, Scorps. That's what I'm hearing. Hang on. Hang it around. Hang in there. This could also be hang in there. Hang on, okay? Again, don't let go. I, I Oh my gosh, it's like I, I just got like this image like you're on some kind of ride, Scorpio, and it's like you're trying not to fall off the ride, okay? Because it's uh, it's really at a, like a turbulent part of the ride uh, in your, the situation with this person has been kind of tur turbulent and you've been tempted to let go. And I feel like you're being told to hang in there and hold on in your advice here, okay? Uh, your outcome on top of judgment is the Seven of Pentacles. Remember, we saw that underneath there. Something you've been waiting for, Scorpio. I think you've been waiting for this resurrection to happen. You've been waiting for Jesus to come back. Ha ha. You know. You know what I mean, Scorps. You've been waiting for this resurrection, all right? Uh, overall energy is the Eight of Wands. Currently in reverse, Fire, Aries, Leo, Sag. Okay? So let's see. Spirits, tell us what's going on here. Let me get my grip going. All right, Spirit, upright or reverse the Eight of Wands, please. The Empress. The Five of Wands. The Queen of Pentacles.
The Five of Pentacles. The Hermit. The Six of Pentacles. The Four of Pentacles. And the Seven of Pentacles. Thank you. Thank you so much, Spirit. Appreciate you. All right. So, yeah. So, everything except for what I was thinking up here, I think I see it a little differently now. I mean, it still could be another Earth energy that got in the way for some of you, for sure. Your overall energy, Scorpio, is one of something changing really fast with this... Uh, Eight of Wands. It's very swift action. Could be travel. You could be at a distance from this person. Uh, you know, could live just, you know, a few hours away. If you, you know, uh, I don't know what's separating you, but this could indicate distance. <laughs> okay, however short or far. All right. Uh, but it also, uh, you know, it's my out of the blue card. Um, it's just like something happens really fast. Uh, uh, just a really fast change of events. Um, passion, you know, Wands are passion. You definitely want to throw down the long-term energy with this person, okay? With the Empress, you're ready to grow with them, Scorp. You are ready to grow with them. If you are of childbearing age, this is something that you are wanting with this person, a family. You know, if you're past childbearing age, you'd still like to watch your grandkids grow up with this person, okay? You are wanting the long haul. I mean, you love them. The Empress is ruled by Venus. It is Venus. So you definitely love this person and want to grow this relationship to its fullest potential. Okay. How they see you. Yeah, I do see that they see you as a wish come, uh, come true, but I think they think that you're kind of feisty. There may be a, a little bit of a conflict and they, they feel conflicted about it inside maybe, uh, or they see you as conflicted. But I kind of am getting an energy of you being kind of feisty, Scorpio. Maybe a little hot-tempered, okay? You might be. That's how they see you. In, the, uh, in their feelings, okay, yeah, they see you as marriage material, Scorpio. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. You obviously see them as marriage material, and they do you as well. They feel very, very blessed or lucky, whatever word you choose, that fate or the universe or God whatever has brought you back into their lives or brought you into their lives, period. Okay, they see a long-term future with you to Scorpio. They want to nurture you. They want uh, to grow. I mean, the Queen of Pentacles, she's she's already grown. She's a full-grown-ass woman, <laughs> okay, or man, because it says it doesn't matter. It's just the energy, all right? Uh, but, uh, yeah, they definitely see you as marriage material, they feel about that about you okay in the past though they may have had to leave you out in the cold scorpio or felt like they had to leave you out in the cold okay because here's how they feel about you and here you are over here in the past feeling rejected dejected in the freezer okay like totally rejected and yeah so i feel scorpio may have gotten rejected in the past for whatever reason it you know Sometimes it can just be bad timing, unfortunately, but, uh, you know, or, you know, we got to wait for divine timing on stuff. So for whatever reason, either this person rejected you in the past or you rejected them is how I'm seeing that. Okay. But currently it looks like a lot of stuff's coming to light and you guys are doing a lot of thinking about it. Both of you, I think are doing a lot of thinking about the connection, trying to really decide what is the best course of action here. Is this really something that, uh, we want to, you know, go ahead and do. Things are coming to light. There's a lot of healing going on. And I, I do feel like you're both very hopeful about this uh, connection. But you are doing a lot of uh, introspection. Right now, it just came to my mind. We're not in November yet. And this reading is for November. But I'm doing this reading right now as the moon wanes. And that is a time of introspection. So and this is current. So it could be the current energy in the day that I'm reading this right now. You guys are in a reflective period right now. You know, healing, hoping, uh, feeling pretty good, but, you know, still pretty deep in thought about uh, this connection. And I do not feel like you're, I still feel like you're separated. You're not together. Okay. 
But it looks like your person notices you, Scorpio. They definitely do. They want to level you up. They're ready to reciprocate your feelings. They're ready to balance this out, okay? So they may have rejected you in the past, okay, and did not want or uh, pursue a long-term commitment with you, with this queen, but now they are seeing you. They see your worth. It's not that they didn't necessarily see you before, but for whatever reason, they had to reject you. And now you're there, single, looking good, feeling good, smelling good, probably attracting all kinds of attention from everywhere. Okay. And uh, they're like, I need to act. Okay. I need to act fast with this eight of wands. Okay. And uh, swoop up this Scorpio, this sexy Scorpio. Okay. Uh, and let them know that I reciprocate their feelings and balance this out. Okay, you're being told, Scorpio, to, yes, hang in there. Hold on. Hold on. The universe has got this, all right? Hold on, all right? Because you've been waiting, and I can tell you've been waiting a long time, and that's why you're having to be told to hang in there because you're ready to throw in the towel, aren't you, Scorpio? You are ready to throw it in. I know. I do. I feel you. You've been waiting, trying to see when am I going to get mine? When is my turn? When am I going to get all the return on this investment? Because I have invested. Even if you don't feel like you've done anything, you've invested your mental energy and your emotions in this connection, Scorpio. So even if you haven't like done anything in the physical, you're still investing, okay? And you're wanting to see your return on that investment. Okay, and it looks like you're going to get it with this uh, with this judgment card here. Okay, let's get some more cards. See what else Spirit wants to share with us about this situation, all right? Spirit, please clarify these cards. <coughs> Excuse me. In the order that they are laid out for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, please. What's going on with these cards for Scorpio? November 2019, please. And what is at the bottom of the stack right now before I start the other kind of shuffling is that Seven of Pentacles again, which is the third time it has appeared in this reading. So, I do feel like you guys have been waiting for this for a long time. All right, let's see what we got. Clarifying that Ten of Pentacles and Empress is how you feel about your person. Oh, the Ace of Cups. Yep, you love them. I told you. You got a whole cup full overflowing of love for them. New love. Renewed love. It's just love, okay? You love this person. And I feel like it's a real love, like a true love. Like, almost... I don't like to say unconditional love a whole lot because I don't know if anybody really loves anybody else unconditionally. The uh, universe, whatever you consider to be God, maybe, but I don't know. I just feel like it's not like I think that we can love people in spite of certain conditions. But I think that, you know, if you love somebody, I don't know. It's just the whole unconditional thing kind of throws me. <clears throat> but anyway, that's neither here nor there. But, uh, and I don't mean like, oh, it's a condition I love you if. It's just like, well, if you love somebody and then they turn out to be some kind of, you know, horrible, you know, serial killer or something, I mean, you're not going to still start and in keep investing in that, <laughs> okay? I hope not. All right, but uh, let's see. Your person sees you as the Ace of Swords. Yep, yeah, you're not playing, are you, Scorpio? You are feisty-tempered. Okay, your wish come true and you're fun and uh, you are, but you're feisty and you are not accepting anything but the truth, are you? Okay, you're ready to win. You're in it to win it too. They see you as in it to win it. And they want to communicate, all right? How they feel about you? Oh, man, the Knight of Cups. Yep, they love you. There it is, some cups, some cup action here in the feelings. I usually like to see some cups in the feels. 
All right. So yeah, they feel very blessed that uh, you've returned to them or been brought into their life. They do see you as someone they could settle down with. And I think they're ready to, you know, talk about an offer. They're ready to, to offer something, Scorpio. They definitely have feelings. They're ready to bring off, bring up, bring you some emotion. Okay. In the past, I do feel like, uh, there was some sort of rejection and it was probably you. Okay. The world. Yeah. This is in reverse right now. We'll see what uh, direction it goes in. Again, the fixed sign energy, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius. Um, but also it is typically Aquarius and can be Capricorn also because it's Saturnian. It's currently in reverse. It's about cycles. Um, we'll see what direction it goes in. The current energy between you and your person, Scorpio, the four of swords, air energy, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So yeah, like I said, it goes along with this hermit. You're thinking, you're healing right now. Both of you are healing from something, either from interaction with each other or for some, from something else independently. But both of you are healing. You're thinking about things. You are analyzing, thinking about maybe new truths that have been recently revealed. Okay. Um, and hopeful. I do feel like you feel hopeful, both of you. Um, the action that your love interest is most likely to take towards you. Yeah, they're going to, they're bringing forth some reciprocity to you. Okay. Oh, geez. As I say that the five of cups, I'm pretty sure this is going to go reverse because it just doesn't seem to fit this way, but we'll see. Um, that's cups. That's water energy, Scorpio, cancer, Pisces. It's an energy of uh, rejection and, um, disappointment. Okay. Your advice the King of Swords. Poker Face. This is my new name for this card. The Poker Face. Okay? Because, I mean, obviously there are people that are truly in this energy, but I feel like a lot of times this guy shows up when somebody is putting on a front, trying to look like a gangsta. Okay? Trying to act like they don't care. Okay? So it's like, this is advice to you, so I feel like it's telling you, A, think logically. Really, really use your head in this situation, Scorpio, okay? And don't give too much emotion away, all right? Keep keep a little bit inside for yourself because, you know, just if we give too much away, it's just, it's, I don't know, it just makes it too easy and people appreciate what they have to work for, usually, generally, more than something that comes really easy to them. So I know sometimes it's hard, uh not for some of us to uh, not speak our minds, to not share our feelings. Some of us are over sharers and some of us are under sharers. So if you're an over sharing Scorpio, which is, you know, it can happen. I have a stellium there and I tend to be an over sharer. I will say, um, that's one thing about Scorpio. That's really not me. I'm not a very secretive person. I've become a little bit more so, but I, I mean, I've always worn my heart on my sleeve and, uh, you know, so it depends on your aspects and what exactly Scorpios are considered to be pretty secretive and uh, a little bit hard to read, keeping their feelings close to their chest. So I do feel like you're being advised to do a little bit of that, you know, just not be so forthcoming with your emotions, but hang on, hang in there. Don't let go, but don't give away too much Scorpio. And for all, for the love of all that is holy, use your head. Okay. In this situation, don't let emotions cloud your judgment. I just heard that. Okay, so your outcome, Scorpio, the Three of Cups. All right, it's currently in the upright. Hopefully it stays that way. That's more uh, water, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, energy. It's an energy of reconciliation for me, especially in an outcome in a relationship reading. We'll see what direction it goes. Your overall energy is the Wheel of Fortune. Big changes, Scorpio, big changes. Okay, it is in the reverse right now. We'll see. All right, spirit, upright or reversed, please. The Wheel of Fortune. The Ace of Cups. The Ace of Swords. The Knight of Cups. The World. The Four of Swords. The Five of Cups. The King of Swords.
and the Three of Cups. Thank you so much, Spirit. Appreciate you. Okay, so this one goes like this, and this one goes like this, and this one goes like this. Okay, so yeah, overall energy, Scorpio, big changes coming your way. Big, good, positive changes coming your way, Scorpio. I do believe the divine is stepping in here. Your divine timing is finally here. I'm thinking I'm going to title this, You've Been Waiting for This, because I believe you have been waiting for this with that Seven of Pentacles card coming out three times, okay? This is also, again, the fixed sign energy of Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, or Aquarius, but it is typically a Jupiterian card, so I associate it with Sagittarius, okay? So you could have Sagittarius in your chart, or they could, uh, but it is an energy of fate, divine timing good luck big changes big positive changes okay so the wheel is a turning the wheel in the sky is turning i just heard that all right so yeah you love this person scorpio you want the long haul with them you are ready to settle down with this person grow with this person build a family with this person um or rebuild if you guys uh, have already, you know, had a family and split up, it certainly could be the case. Some of you could already be married and uh, have divorced and getting back together. Some of you could have uh, just met a few months ago and, you know, hit a rough patch and are coming back together. I do feel like for most of you, this is somebody from your past that you are reconciling with, though. Um, but big love, big love Scorps has for their person, okay? How they feel about you, yeah. They do feel like you are probably having a bit of a good time. I think they think you're very fun and that you do f definitely fulfill a wish for them. But I think that they feel that there may be some conflict involved in this connection. Uh, maybe too many people getting in the way. Um, there could be other people getting in the way. It doesn't have to be like, you know, romantic interest. It could be, you know, just other people, friends, family, sticking the nose in, whatever. But there seems to be some conflict or competition. They could feel like there might be competition when it comes to you, Scorpio. Uh, especially if you are the Nine of Pentacles uh, person here. You probably are getting a good amount of attention. Okay, but I think they also see that you um, are not going to accept anything but the truth. You are going to cut through anything. You are... What did I say before? I can't remember what I said before now. You're ready. You're not... You're ready to, to have a victory for sure. You're not going to be willing to accept anything less, I think. I think that the, you're in it to win it. That's what it was. Sorry, I couldn't remember it. That's what it was. You're in it to win it. They see you as in it to win it. Okay, and I think they do want to share the truth with you. They see you and they, they see that you are very communicative, Scorpio, with your, um, you're just a really good communicator. And I think that uh, they see that about you and they also want to be able to communicate and re reciprocate that with you, okay? Uh, how they feel about you. Yes, they do love you too. They feel very blessed or lucky that you came into their life. Um, and uh, they see you as marriage material and want to offer something to you. Maybe marriage for some of you, to be perfectly honest. That card came up for a friend of mine, I'm telling you. And I was like, I just felt proposals so much. And I, she was like, no way. We've already talked about it. It's not going to happen, you know, for a long time, you know, years. They were talking to me maybe in a few years. And I said, I'm telling you, I feel you're going to be getting a proposal within three months. And sure as shit, she got her ring within three months. She had a ring on her finger. Okay, so we looked back. We'd forgotten about that reading, of course. And then she remembered and she's like, oh, my God, you told me. I sure did. Anyway, <laughs> so in the past, I do feel like you guys were on a cycle with this person and it had to complete. So at the time, I think that maybe uh, you guys were maybe thinking about getting back together or something in the past, but it didn't uh, materialize. Somebody felt rejected. It just the divine timing just wasn't there. I feel there was a cycle that still needed to close out before um, either you guys independently with other people or just in your life in general independently or a cycle that you had together where it wasn't time for you to come back together yet okay the current energy is one of hope and healing and things coming to light a lot of thinking going on not uh i don't it's not the eight of swords so i don't feel like it's a lot of negative thinking or like being a prisoner of your thoughts i just think it's healthy thinking that's going on you're both in a contemplative mode about you know 
what is the next best move to make to keep this you know, going to keep this, this energy going and to grow that energy. You guys both want to grow that sun energy for sure. Okay. Um, yeah, they want to come forward. They see you Scorpio. They definitely see you standing there looking fine and they want to come over and, uh, reciprocate. Okay. They regret rejecting you Scorpio. They want to change that. They know they disappointed you and they want to come back and turn that frown upside down. I always say that with this card. That's the nickname for this card. Okay. Um, well, at least in the reverse, <laughs> but yeah, they want to come back and reverse that disappointment. Scorpio be prepared incoming. Okay. But yeah, when it happens, I mean, I know you're getting impatient. I do. I know it. I can feel it. Okay. Hang in there. Don't let go. It's just a little longer, but keep your poker face on. Okay. Don't give away too much. Use your head when dealing with this person. Okay. And your outcome looks fabulous. All right. Reconciliation for sure. It is a resurrection of something that was dead. Something you have long been waiting for Scorpio. It is a long been waited for reunion and something to celebrate. Okay. There is something to celebrate in November with this person regarding you and this person, Scorpio. So congratulations. I hope you enjoy your celebrations. And I hope you have a very happy birthday and a very happy Halloween and a very happy November, okay? So that was your reading. I hope it resonated. If it did, please uh, like, comment, subscribe, and share. And uh, whether it did or didn't, I fully recommend you checking out your moon, Venus, and rising signs because you can definitely get more information there or find something that actually resonates if it didn't resonate here. Okay, so thank you very much for all your support, and until November, see you later. Bye.